don't even know why I'm doing a vlog right now because one, I need to be packing. I leave tomorrow fucking morning for Otakon. Yes. Um, yeah, my husband and I are leaving tomorrow morning. I forget what time our flight is. I think it's, I think it's butt ass early. I want to say it's like seven or eight and we get there at like 10 that's what i want to say but somewhere in my brain i'm thinking it's like at five something and i don't know because my husband said something about five something and i was just not amused with five something look at this i got a giant fucking pimple right here just to let everybody in the free world know i'm gonna be having lady issues very soon so that's not looking nice or going well i'm not packed I barely got Lolita stuff washed yesterday. I need to get some fan shirts. I think I'm going to wear a Wesker shirt, maybe a Star shirt. I don't know when I'm going to slide any of those into my repertoire, but I need to fucking figure that out. And I, I'm looking at my suitcase now. It's got dried socks on it because I had to dry air dry my socks because I didn't have enough to put them in the dryer. And I'm not ready. I'm not ready. I ain't ready for con. It's because I went to fucking, um... I'm thinking MetroCon. I've been avoiding MetroCon. Um, shit. Comic-Con. I went to Comic-Con this past weekend. <gasps> oh, let me finish telling you about Comic-Con. And this is a nondescript vlog, so I'm just going to be rambling on trying to avoid packing. So, hang on. Let me show you what happened at the end of Comic-Con. Hold on. All right. So, I'm trying to get this adjusted. I got my Snake Doll autograph. Do you see what it says? Adrian, you're pretty good. And I exchanged funny stories with David Hayter. Yay! So, remember last time I said that um he had had, he had told the story that he didn't get in a fight in Hong Kong. I know, I love my sneak doll now. Um, he didn't get a fight in Hong Kong. He got in a fight. He was rattling off, like, all the myriad of places. He was brawling and beefing. <laughs> so... I got him to tell me the story of how he, he got, he, the one and only fight he ever lost. So, ask him about it. I'm not going to retell that story because I was the only one squirrely enough to ask about it. So, you want to hear that story, you need to go ask him, like, hey, David Hayter, some crazy black chick was like, tell me the story of the, the fight that you lost. Or get him to tell you one of his other 1,400,000 fight stories because, like I said, he was all beefing and brawling with folks. It was like beating folks down, and I'm still like, damn, I ain't know that man was brawling like that, so, I don't know, he might drop kick you, I don't know, <laughs> so, like, he, I don't know, he may, like, you get on his nerves, he might just drop kick you, so, don't be surprised if David Hayter drop kicks you, but, I got my snake dog on the ground. I was so happy. I was so happy to have met him. I felt like, yay. And you know what else I felt like? Like, I can finally let that Metal Gear fandom just slowly just fade away. <laughs> like, being after after this, after truly after this, I was like, well, well, damn. That's the end of that fandom. So, and I am, I know, last time, I know, I'm blending video game stuff in with con stuff. I'm supposed to be talking about con stuff. But this ties into con stuff. So, but, you know, I'm on a hardcore Wesker kick, and it's gotten slightly worse from the vlog that I did, like, two, three weeks, like, a week. I don't know when the fuck I did that. I think it was last week. It's gotten slightly worse. So, I'm on the deep end of the fucked up pool, so I don't know what to tell y'all. So, yes, I'm going to be holding on my little snake dolly. It's been autographed. I can let that fandom go. I'm kind of like, oh. But then again, I'm kind of like, that's where it needed to go. Because me and Metal Gear are done. And now that I have this, I'm fucking out with it. So, yeah. So, now, on to Otakon. So, apparently, I got something on Facebook. And I didn't even realize that I put this, or like, remember that I put this. But when they started their timeline bullshit, I had put, like, basically my entire, well, a lot of my life story up there, and it was like 1998, this day, and or was it yesterday? It was some day in 1998, you had gone to your first anime con, which was Otakon, 20 fucking years ago. And now my dumb ass is going back in like, on like nearish the 20th anniversary of me first going to this fiasco. And I don't know, man. I don't know. My husband, 
My best friend was supposed to have gone with us, but she couldn't make it. She couldn't get the time off of work, and she hasn't been feeling great. So I can understand that. I mean, we're not 20. I went to the gym when I was 20. I'm currently not 20. So I saw 20 20 years ago, and it's still blasting my fucking mind. So I don't know. But she couldn't make it out, and I'm just like, where? But we're going to go to SAC Anime. We both call it SAC Anime, but we're going to go to SAC Anime because I'm supposed to be going to go visit her um, toward the end of this month. So we're going to go to SAC Anime, or as we like to call it, SAC Anime. So I've been going to college. I ain't been con hopping like this in years. I went to, to fucking Kawaii Con. I went to Comic Con. I'm going to Otakon tomorrow. And then at the end of the month, we're going to, to, to Sakame. So, man, it's just been con city this year. I ain't been con hopping like this in years. I don't know what the fuck to do. I'm geese the fuck out right now. I'm like, I need to pick. I was supposed to go pick up, take some tea for my husband back. Because I bought the wrong tea. Because he likes drinking tea at work when he's tired. And the caffeine gives him a boost. Um, And I, I bought the wrong tea. And I was supposed to do that and get something for my Esmeralda Torres for the Evil Within 2 cosplay. I don't have gloves for her. Or, like, a utility belt? Like, <laughs> I need, like, a utility-ish belt. So, I have to go get a man's belt and, like, gloves and a watch. I don't wear watches, but I'm going to need a watch for that. I, actually, I would rather have, like... Maybe, like, something that's a pedometer that looks like a watch. Because I'm always curious how much walking you do when you're at Otakon. So, and now that they had those fucking Fitbit things, which I swear is monitoring you and, like, transmitting shit to, like, the government or something. It's transmitting it to somebody that shouldn't have that information. I'm real not trusting of those things. And I don't care what anybody tells you. Oh, no, they're safe. and I don't, I don't trust it. That's just, you don't need to be knowing my EKG and shit. That's just information. No, I shouldn't even fucking have that. Like, yes, it's great to know that you're healthy, but I shouldn't fucking know what my heart rate is. As long as it's not exploding or like, then there's not a problem. <laughs> if, I don't, if, I, if it's beating, it's not a problem. <laughs> the minute it stops beating, that's a fucking problem. So, but I don't... I don't need like the Fitbits, but I would like a pedometer if I can snag one that looks like a watch. So th then I can have my Esmeralda cosplay done because I'm going to do Esmeralda Taurus since my husband is schlackily doing the um the Harbinger. He did not do a great job on his Harbinger costume. I'm so not pleased with him right now. And he knows I'm not pleased with him right now. That's why he's like, I didn't really want to wear it. I'm like, I gave you the out. You ain't want to take it. You want to be like looking at me like, I ain't really want to wear it. Come on now. I told you. I was like, if you don't want to do it, it's a lot to do. And what did he have me do? He had me email the people at Otakon to ask if it would be okay if the flamethrower is functional. He barely put the fucking thing together. It is slackly done. And he's not, it's not even functional. My husband don't know what he's doing. So, I'm wearing my Esmeralda Torres cosplay. I have to forfeit one day of Lolita to wear that Esmeralda outfit. But at least I'll be comfortable. But I'm saying no. I'm not amused with my husband's lack of... He did a real good job when they keep her outfit, like, three years ago. I don't know what the fuck happened now. He just left it all behind. I'm just like, man. Ugh. So, I don't know. But I am excited for Otagon. I am tired, though, because I am geezed the hell out. You know how geezed out I am right now? Like I said, I was supposed to go take get that stuff, and I didn't go get it. But yesterday... When I was doing my rounds, having to go to the store and stuff, I ended up buying, which I don't even know if it works, but I ended up buying these. Caffeine gum in a vain attempt, see? In a vain attempt to, like, not geese out while I'm at Otakon, because I need a nap right now. Like I said, I was supposed to go out, and I was just like, I was halfway to going, going back out, because I had to run an errand. And then I was, I came back home, picked up some stuff, to, and and was going to take that tea back. I got, like, down the block and made a U-turn. It was like, fuck this, I'm tired. And I can't really take a nap right now because I just ate lunch. And because I had that gastric sleeve surgery, um, if I eat and try to go to sleep, 
makes me throw up. I know that's not what you want to hear, but if you're thinking about getting a surgery at some point, this is shit nobody fucking tells you. Like, yeah, you, you gotta learn how to eat better and la di fucking da but they don't tell you the shit that you eat and then you lie your ass down, then stuff starts backing up and then you vomit and... That's how, like, a, a lot of people die choking on their own vomit. I don't want to be on that list of people who die choking on their own innocence, though. Because that's just not cute. That's not how a Lolita should go out. A Lolita should go out getting trampled trying to buy bread. They <laughs> try to say live trying to get bread. So, <laughs> choked up. <coughs> so, Otaga is tomorrow. Stack of maze at the end of the month. Um, I was going to try to share some con stories since, like, I don't even, I, I've lost record of how many conventions I've gone to. I've gone to conventions since, like I said, 1998. I started multiple con hopping in the year 2000. So, there was, oh, pardon me, 2003 was the year I didn't go to a con at all, and, um, Sorry I keep looking at my phone, but I'm expecting a call. Um, 2003, I didn't go to a con at all. And since then, I've gone to at least one, maybe two. A, and since I've moved here, I've pretty much just gone to maybe two a year. This is the first year I've done more than two in a year. So, and they've been out of state. So, like, oh, pardon. Sorry about that. That was actually not the call I was looking for. But, um... Yeah, I forgot what I was talking about, but yeah, so let me share with you one of my favorite con stories. Um, this was, this has happened at Otakon, ni not 19, 2004. Um, that was the year me, my best friend Jamie, who I'm going to stack a mate with, and then our other friend Tani, we had gone to Otakon, and me and my best friend Jamie, we had gone pretty much with no money we went with money literally enough money to pay for the hotel and pay for um pay for the hotel and pay for um the fuck was that um and registration we didn't have money for food so we ate very little and that's the convention i remember very minimal shit about like i don't remember half nothing that went the fuck on at otaka 2004 so before we leave, I am in a skirt and a dress, because I always, even if I'm not in Lolita, I wear skirts and dresses a lot. I'm wearing a skirt right now. See, skirt. So, um, I was, um, I was wearing a skirt, and I, my bananas ass fucking was wearing stockings in the middle of summer, and before we left, we left to go get, pick up our reg a day early, because at Otakon, you can pick up your, de your badge on the the day before which was a Thursday so we left down there we drove down there picked up our badges and came back to Philadelphia because I was living in Philadelphia at the time and drove to only to get up in the morning and drive the fuck back down there again so yeah we did that I don't know why we did that but we did that so okay the day goes we go through our day we're both tired hungry and real disoriented and finally around midnight ish me and my best friend we go back to our hotel room and we go to sleep and before we go to sleep i remember this i got undressed i was in my little nightgown got we both got in bed because we shared the bed and the last thing i said to my best friend before we went to sleep was i should have shaved my legs before we left that was and i don't know why i remember this story so clearly because i remember that was the last thing i said to her before i fell asleep so we had some people that were sharing our room with us to cut down on the costs. And they came in, our friend to me, let them in, met them up, met up with them, let them in the room. We were all talking, chatting, hanging out, getting to know each other, la di da. So as we're talking, and I'm talking to the people, my best friend and I are still in bed. And I could feel my best friend with her foot rubbing my leg up and down like this. And she's doing this for a long ass time, a real, real long time, but it's not bothering me. It's not disturbing me. I don't feel anything. I'm just like, she's just doing this and I'm just casually having a conversation. So finally, after she's doing this on my leg with her foot for a real long time, she's like, Adrian, why are you still wearing your stockings? 
I'm talking to somebody in the room. I stopped mid-ass sentence, looked dead at her, and was like, I don't. I told you I should have shaved my legs before we left. And she was on the floor. Tani was dying laughing. And the, the poor kids didn't know what the fuck they were getting into. They were just like, what the fuck did we just get ourselves into? You room with a crazy bitch. That's what happened. So, yeah, sometimes my, my con stories are kind of crazy. That's the only one I can think of off the top of my head. So, at 15 minutes, I ain't gonna call it a wrap, and maybe I can, like, get a tiny little itty-bitty baby nap in before I have to get up, do errands, pack, wash my hair, cook dinner. It's like, nobody told me about being married and still trying to con hop. This is not, the, this wasn't the plan, but I guess it is now, so I don't even know. So, that is all I have, and if you're going to Otakon, I will see you at Otakon. Just look for the crazy chick, either wearing Lolita or wearing Esmeralda Torres with pink in her hair. So, that is all I have, and I will see y'all at Otakon and or next time. Later!